Hey there, Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 1931 of What You Have to Know, documenting the journey as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business and back and forth again. Today, we're talking about, I created a couple of pieces of content already. We're talking about physical goals and how to achieve physical goals as part of this year's Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. And today we're hopping into the SOAP framework, sharing the SOAP framework just like you did all through the pandemic and the next year and the next and again this year because it is a process that we can install in our subconscious that guarantees we'll get the best possible results for us given any situation that we face, whether it's a setback, an obstacle, a problem, It'll guarantee that if we apply this framework, we will get the best outcome for us, given all the information and the situation at the time. It doesn't mean things won't change. We couldn't come up with a better one down the road, but it'll help us in the current situation to get through that as quickly and easily as possible. So today, the first step in that SOAP framework is identifying what our current story or situation is and then what our desired story and situation is because that creates a gap that we fill with the rest of the framework and so today I shared two tools storyboarding tool and the vision board tool to help us identify our current situation with the storyboard you know just draw out sketch out like if you're a cartoon artist or something or a doodle or doodle out a picture of what is your current situation with respect to the physical goal you picked yesterday that we want to apply the same the sorry the soap framework to and then our vision board creating a quick vision board by finding pictures or graphics or things that show us experiencing the goal as if we've already achieved us help to help us to visualize us as if we've already gotten the goal and both those the storyboard and the vision board then help to show us and clarify for us what the gap is, what's the difference between where we are and where we want to be. Because then we'll start tomorrow with the O, identifying possible options to get us from where we are to where we want to be. But first we need to know where we're going, what our target is, and what our current situation is. A lot of times we like to sugarcoat and make excuses and pretend things aren't the way they are, but they actually are. And it isn't until we say, okay, this is what it is and it's not what I want right now that we'll be motivated and have the desire to move toward what it is that we want. So that was our tools for today for part of this year's Get Up and Go Challenge. And our idiom to kind of coincide with that is read between the lines. So I shared five ways to get better at reading between the lines, understanding the real thing that people are communicating, not just what they're saying. Because a lot of times what we're saying you know, I, I am totally guilty of this saying, people ask, well, how are you doing? Well, I used to always say, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. But usually if I said I was fine, there was, I was hanging on by a thread and that things weren't fine. So uh, I remember listening to a TED talk about fine and bursting into tears because it so described how I was using the word fine. And so we learn things about ourselves all the time. But reading between the lines and having the ability to understand where people are coming from, what their intentions are, what their motives are, what, what drives them, what their why is, helps us to serve them better in all of our relationships. This In Supersize Your Business, we talk about these idioms with respect to how do we grow and build our business? How do we become better leaders? How do we uh, be a better example for the world? How do we create the businesses that we want to see in the world? But it also applies to other areas and other relationships and other aspects of our life. We, we negotiate everything in our life, right? We negotiate all of our relationships. We teach people how to treat us and what is and isn't acceptable. So this is what we're talking about today. I am on my way to take another shower because I'm having some surgery today. And apparently these days you have to take two showers before you go have surgery, which I find fascinating and interesting, but it means I'll just have really clean, shiny hair. If I can help in any way, ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.